<laughs> Joining us now, our third guest of the day, BYU baseball signee Seth Corey. Seth, welcome to Studio B and BYU welcome. Sports Nation. Glad to be here. Thank you, guys. Okay, if you had 15 seconds to tell a baseball fan what you do and what you're good at, what would you say? Um, throw baseball really hard. <laughs> then my tease was right. I said, yeah, this guy that's can throw I, baseball that, really hard. Yeah. Congratulations on signing with BYU, by the way. Thank uh, you. That was just a few days ago. Uh, it's it's funny because you sign and we're like, sweet, do you play in January? It's You'll actually play for Lone Peak, you're a senior in high school, and then the next year. So yeah. what's what's it like to, to get excited for it? But it is a little ways away, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a long ways away, but still something to definitely look forward to. It's exciting. Why did you ultimately pick BYU and playing for Coach Mike Littlewood? Um, you know, number one, it's close to home. Number two, I love Coach Littlewood, and I love Coach Herring, Coach Pratt, all of them. They're – they're my favorite guys ever. I chose them for sure. That's the biggest reason why I came here is because Coach Littlewood, he's the man. He is the man. He we is. like him as well. Uh, describe your game uh, in, in baseball. What, what do you do well? What are some of your pitches? What's your, uh, uh, what do you top out at in your fastball? Yeah, so fastball, top out at 95. Ooh, okay. Okay, you can throw a baseball very hard. <laughs> you were yeah. lying. <laughs> and then I have a curveball and then change up. Just those three pitches. And and you, we know you play uh, you played a little football as well. So tell us tell us uh, about I guess you tore your ACL a year ago, and then you actually came back this season. Yeah, so I tore my ACL in the quarterfinal game last year against Roy, and I, you know I put it off until actually the quarterfinal game of this year against Jordan, and I came back and played. How does that how how does that happen? Hey, can you come back and play in the playoffs? Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, they were trying to get me to come back earlier in the season, too. The coaches were and stuff. You know, I kind of just put it off, you know, not worth it and stuff. But then I finally decided, you know, I want to do what I want to do, and I love football. So I just – they said, you have a spot open. So I was like, all right, awesome. I want to go. I want to come play. And you started in the state championship game yeah. at safety. Yeah. So so what was that like? Because I know uh, there's some there's some hard times uh, recovering from an ACL injury. Yeah, well, it was fun. And I knew I would be fine because, I mean, it was a year until I got until I got hurt before. So I knew I'd be fine. I was just wanted to go out and have fun. You know Mike Littlewood is uh, – he's not going to let you just wander over to the football field at BYU, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I know that. He, yeah, he, he's had guys actually flip to baseball. That's the funny thing. Yeah. So uh, Jacob Hanneman, of course. And he actually, he actually lost to first baseman. Cole Wilstead. Cole Wilstead. There you go. Yeah. So he's he's experienced both sides of that. Yeah, don't cause him any nightmares. <laughs> uh, I, won't, I won't. Trust me, I won't. <laughs> Seth Corey, recent BYU baseball signee, just told us he can throw a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. He is uh, a year away from playing at BYU. What is Mike Littlewood and uh, Coach Pratt and all of that staff like as – what are they like as recruiters? Uh, you know, I spent most of my time with Coach Herring. And oh, okay, Coach yeah. Herring. He's Brent, the... Brent's a, a great guy too. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a man. And, you know, when I came here for my official and stuff, like, they were really nice. Like, and I've known a lot, all these coaches, like, before before I started looking into BYU, I was really close with a few of them. And, you know, they're awesome dudes, and I loved the process. Last year, the mustache mafia was a big deal. So how's your mustache <laughs> game? Should that uh, be part of the program? Uh, it was actually pretty good during football. I was growing it out, you know, and then <laughs> – we lost, and then I decided I actually shaved it a couple of days ago. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you well. could be presentable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, on seriously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wise choice. Do you have a, a favorite pro baseball player that you kind of emulate and, and pattern your game after? If so, who is it? Um, I don't I don't know if you guys know him, but uh, his name's Matt Moore. He's a pitcher for the – left-handed pitcher for the Giants. And I, I know yeah. who Matt Moore is, yes. I paid th – I – Followed baseball pretty closely when I was working in uh, Grand Junction, Colorado, for a number of years. So I yeah, that's yeah. actually really surprising. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm aware of the the Giants staff and covered Sergio Romo when he was playing okay. at uh, Mesa, Mesa State, Mesa State yeah. now Colorado Mesa University. He's with the Giants as well. Yeah. So yeah, random that yes, I do know why. Why is it that uh, you pattern your game after him? Um, I feel like we're just really similar, just in everything we do. Our fastball, our curveball, changeup, mechanics, just everything. We're just I'm really similar to him. There you go. That's that's a good dude to be patterned after. What's the reaction of uh, at Lone Peak High School since you're still there of yeah. uh, what the Lone Peak three are doing at BYU with BYU basketball right now? Yeah, it's awesome. I got a chance to watch them when they're at Lone Peak, obviously, and watch them win that national championship. And you know, it's pretty cool. 
all of my friends, like, we've been watching them, and a couple of my friends are really good friends with TJ's family and stuff. And we're just really excited that they're at Lone Peak doing good, and we, we love going to the games. We're going to go to a lot of games this year as buddies. Who's the most famous Lone Peak alum? Ooh. Frank Jackson. Okay. Definitely. Frank Jackson. So Justin Hamilton's played in the NBA, but Frank Jackson at Duke, he's the guy, right? Yeah, I'd say in the past five years, definitely Frank. The one that got away. <laughs> he, he's at Duke now. Rats. Uh, hey, you know what? BYU's uh, still got a pretty good product on is the Duke floor. Is Duke even oh, good yeah. at basketball? You know, I, I, <laughs> is, is Coach K even that good? Um, questions no one's asked. Hey, let's uh, finish up with our Twitter question. Um, what is your favorite part or favorite thing about Thanksgiving Day? Hard. Hold on. <laughs> this is the and toughest dad's, question dad's we've in asked. the studio, so he's like, "There's a thing, and we always do it as a family, and you got to remember it." Probably being with the family, and then the stuffing. The stuffing. I love yeah. stuffing. Okay. That's okay. What I'm Stuffing's about. incredible. That'll push your fastball up to 96. Hopefully. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> it's not a. It's a. It's a natural performance enhancer, so it's it's okay. <laughs> stuffing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you attribute to success? Oh, uh, the stuffing, stuffing. I ate on Thanksgiving Day. It's March. What? Hey, uh, Seth, congratulations on signing with BYU. Looking forward to having you in uh, a BYU uniform. And best of luck at uh, Lone Peak in your final season. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Seth Corey, BYU baseball signee. Up next, the Cougar Whip Around gets you.